I am Anil Kumar and here is an interesting test question. It is on rational functions, rather rational equations. Let us discuss this question at length. The question is, solve for x, 3 over 7 equals to 1 over x minus 5 over x minus 4. So whenever you have a rational equation, begin by writing its restriction. x is not equal to 0 and is also not equal to 4. So these are the two restrictions for the given rational function. Now let us see how to solve it. So we can take common denominator on the right side which is x times x minus 4. The numerator will be 1 times x minus 4 minus 5x. And now we can cross multiply, right? So we have 3 times we can expand this also, x square minus 4x equals to 7 times, let us write this, simplify this, x minus 5 is minus 4x and we have minus 4. So I've done two steps here, first simplify and then multiply it every term by 7, right? Now we can open the brackets, we have 3x square minus 12x equals to minus 28x and this is minus 28. Bring them all to the left side so we have 3x square minus 12x plus 28x plus 28 equals to 0. Combine the like terms 3x square plus minus 12 plus 28 is 16x plus 28 equals to 0. Now we need to solve this quadratic equation to find possible answers. So we can use quadratic formula which you remember which is x is equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. Now in the given equation we have a as 3 b as 16 and c as 28. So we can find the answer as x equals to minus of 16 plus minus square root of 16 square minus 4 times 3 times 28 divided by 2 times 3. So let's use calculator now to find what these values are. 16 square is 256 okay we'll do 16 square equals to 256 minus 4 times we get 4 times 3 times 28 which is 336 336 divided by 6 now as you can see within the square root we have a negative number right 256 minus 336 is negative 80, correct? So we get actually minus 16 plus minus square root of negative 80 divided by 6. Now that is not real, so, so we have no real solution for this rational function, right? There could be imaginary solution, right? So we are not doing complex numbers at present, but in case for those of you who are doing complex numbers, they could continue with complex numbers but for the given situation we have no real solution right so remember in a test you may get an equation which does not have any real solutions okay so keep that in mind thank you and all the best